Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. My name is Costas Lozanis, and it's so great to see all of your wonderful smiling faces, or at least what I imagine your smiling faces to look like if you were here with me. Uh, very, very exciting today. Uh, we have a bottle of Greek vodka. Uh, the guys over there at Castro El Leon actually sent me a, a lovely letter, a delicious bottle of Greek vodka. Today we're gonna be tasting this fantastic sipping vodka that is distilled from Greek olives and curated grains. First of all, check this out right here. They hand drew this letter with a little olive branch on there with some olives. Ready to opa. I'm always ready to opa. We hope you enjoy this bottle, our newly launched premium sipping vodka distilled from Greek olives, Nastikala, Castra Elion family. Beautiful. This is the very first batch of this vodka, which makes it even more exciting. I believe as we're speaking right now, they are delivering the very first cases in Texas to my restaurant. Castra Elion actually means castle olive, translated literally, so basically it's a, the olive castle. It's actually very close to my dad's hometown of Derveni, and Nathbaktos is the name of the city where they actually grow the olives that are distilled in this vodka. The actual distillation process occurs in Kalamata, Greece, which Kalamata olives are like Greek olives, and there's actually an entire city named uh, after the variety of olives called Kalamata, Greece, so that's pretty neat as well. They ship over the distilled spirit to, I believe, Los Angeles to be bottled and packaged and distributed across the United States. Okay, when life hands you olives, you make olive vodka. And when life hands you olive vodka, you make a dirty vodka martini. And that's what I'm gonna teach you guys how to make today using Castra Elion Greek vodka. Let's get our martini glass marinating in a ice bath. I'm gonna take some of this fresh ice that I got. You should do this for any martini that you want chilled. Just fill it up with ice and a little bit of water. That's really gonna drop the temperature of your glass and keep your martini colder longer. Let's go ahead and build our dirty martini. I'm gonna be using two and a half ounces of Castra El Leon olive vodka. It's so good. The smell is so rich and buttery. I'm gonna be using half an ounce of my favorite olive brine. This is 1888, it's an unfiltered olive juice. It's really going to bring out some of those flavors of the vodka. Half an ounce. And I do like my martini a little dry, so I'm gonna add a quarter ounce of some martini and Rossi dry vermouth. Let's add some ice to our martini shaker. Now that we've shaken our martini, let's go ahead and dump out this ice bath and strain properly. Garnish this with three olives. And there you have it. A Castra El Leon dirty vodka martini. The high quality olive juice with that high quality olive vodka, it's like the most savory, delicious thing that you can think of. Mm. If you love a dirty martini, you're gonna love this vodka. Add this to your arsenal at your home bar or order it at your local bar. And remember guys, Opa Greek Tavern will be having Castro El Leon by the bottle or by the glass. And you can stop in and try one of these delicious cocktails for yourself. Yamas.